Hey everybody, Rachel here from RachelTheStamper.com and I wanted to share just a few things with you uh, from our recent trip to Orlando for our 30th anniversary with Stampin' Up! So this is the new celebration catalog which will be premiering January 3rd and then this will be the new occasions catalog full of lots of new springy happiness. I wanted to share a couple things that I got with you guys and then I also wanted to tell you um, about a new stamp type that they have if that makes sense. Um, so I got this really cool um, Gingham Gala designer series paper. It's a stack. And yeah, see you get blue and green, Calypso Coral, Highland Heather, and yellow, and then the other side is just a smaller check. So these are really pretty. So it's Balmy Blue, Daffodil Delight, Grapefruit Grove, Highland Heather, Lemon Lime Twist, and then obviously all of them are on Whisper White. So I'm going to be making some samples with these coming up. And then I got these great stamp sets, Amazing Life, which this will be great to use with the ombre technique. This is featured with something in the catalog that I can't wait to order and be able to share with you guys. Really cool. Um, there's also this really pretty humming along stamp set. A beautiful Beauty Abounds. This has some really nice um, fonts and sayings. Great for your cards. And then this is a really cool one. This is a demonstrator exclusive, stamping your way to the top. So it's got a little something you can put on the back of your cards. Awesome. Love this. You can put these on your envelopes when you send them out. But what I wanted to show you, that the major thing that was like the new thing, which some people may know about, and the reason I have this one out is just to show you the difference, is there is a new stamp, if you didn't notice that, it's called Cling Stamps. So basically, they're now going to offer two different things. They're going to offer photopolymer stamps, which are these, and these, these are the ones that are actually physically clear see-through, so photopolymer, and then they're going to order... Uh, offer cling mount stamp sets. So instead of it being clear mount and wood mount, it's going to be cling and photopolymer. So they're going to be doing away with the wood mount stamp sets with the exception of background stamps. There will still be the um, availability to order background stamps as wood mount or as cling mount. That's going to be the only difference. So everything else aside from that, the wood blocks will be going away. So if there's something that you want to get that's in the current uh, holiday catalog, those are still offered in wood mount. So, But the cool part about the cling mount, these are actually something that they tested out in one of our smaller markets in Japan to see how they would work because I know a lot of people have trouble. So for example, with this, with the dandelion wishes, if you were to put the sticker onto the back of this, they don't stick. So... They finally addressed that problem. However, one thing you do have to be very careful about is when you place your stamps onto your new cling stickers, you have to be very careful that you put it on precisely because you cannot remove them. Once they go on, they're on permanently. So I wanted to show you one um, difference. So that's why I brought this stamp set out. So if you look at the difference between these two, so I took the backing off of this and then this is the old clear mount, which these are a little harder to see because I have already taken them apart. But you can see this is more of a fat foam and it is a more of like a crumb cake color. Whereas these, this is the new cling mount stamp. So you do have to be very careful with these as well when you remove them from your block. This is not... It's about probably about the same thickness, but it's a different color. This is more of a, like a gray. So the, the actual physical stamp part of this is different. So you'll notice that straight off, that they are two different colors. And when you actually see them in person, you can tell the difference between the two. But when you put these on, let me move this out of the way. I just wanted to bring that to be able to show you the difference. So you still will mount these the same way that we have in the past, which is by, re, rem, I've removed the back of the whole entire um, sheet. So I'll take all the backing off and then I'll set this down. And then I'm gonna pull out the stamp I want. So this one's kind of like a flower filigree. 
and um, they gave us directions, which is super helpful. So it does tell you how to assemble your stamps. So you're gonna take the backing off, which I've already done that on the whole sheet. You're gonna take the one out that you wanna do. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find which one it is that you wanna use. So here we have the, still the same splits in the middle, just like it had in the past. So these always have had these splits in the middle. So this has a split as well. But you have to be very careful with making sure that you line this up exactly where you want because you cannot remove it. So I'm just gonna lay this on top just so you see. So if you have words that maybe could go one direction versus the other, you need to make sure that they are lined up correctly before you take this backing off. Because if you do remove this, it will peel this rubber right off, or the foam layer, I should say, it'll peel it right off. So I'm gonna do one with you. This is the first one I've done ever, so hopefully I won't ruin it. So what I usually like to do is I start with one side, and I'm gonna, get in here real close so I don't ruin it. Start with one side and kind of make sure this is lined up on the part here that I like. And lay that down. I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit and you can tell like in the past you could still move this. This one is actually already adhered. And I'll just lift off my second half and just kind of let that follow along and just give it a press. Yeah, make sure. Push that all the way on. And then peel this away. Okay, so this, if you can tell, just hearing that, super duper tacky. Okay. So then all you have to do, so I'm going to just, just sit this just like that. Look how fast that picked up. Is really sticky. Super sticky. Okay. So one other piece of advice that they give you. So if we're gonna put this one, we'll see, we're gonna mount this here. I mean, I am putting this down with minimal, you just drop it, it sticks. This is so much better than they were in the past, like that. So they did suggest that when you take it off, so if you have your stamp on here and you've been stamping and it's really stuck on there because you've been inking it and using it, you wanna make sure you get your, pick up your stamp near the label. So. If you see, I'm gonna pick this up all the way here at the label and pull it off. Because if you don't do that, you can actually disconnect the foam from the rubber stamp. So as you can see, this is super duper sticky, which is awesome. And then what I'm gonna do with this is I'll just put this into the spot where it went. So um, also another good idea someone shared is if you wanted to do this with maybe some of your stamps that you have already um, like say for example, we did this one and this was a good idea. So I just thought I'd share it with you. So if you have your, this is our old cling mount. So put this here, press, pull it off. And you can see this does not stick at all. It takes a lot, but someone had a really good idea until maybe they decided to come out with some cling sheets, what you could do, and again, I'm doing this on the fly, is you could maybe trim off a little piece. And I don't wanna use too big of a piece, so I'll just use a little square. And I'm gonna see if I can do this without, maybe I should have done this before I uh, cut it there. I'm gonna peel off a little corner here All right, let me try this one instead. Well, this might have been better to practice this ahead of time because I don't know that you can pull this up. Just trying to disconnect these two pieces together. There we go. Okay, finally got it. So I'm going to hold this piece on while I pull away this little strip here. And then, whoops, it came right off onto my finger. I'm gonna put this here, kind of over top. So then, now I know I only put it on that one little spot, but let's see if that holds. It does hold it better. So you would have to make sure that you are very careful though with pulling your piece off, but I have this little piece here 
that is going the, even just with that small piece there it does hold it on much better so once you start getting these you can keep your little extra pieces and you could use these to to adhere to your other um cling mounts which might be a good idea so i don't remember who shared that but that is a super idea to be able to kind of hold you off on the in between but anyway so all you're going to do once again is you're just going to um find your stamp that coordinates so we'll do one more this one says a friend is someone who chooses you so i'm going to go ahead and pull both of these off and again you want to make sure that you pick the correct label for the correct stamp because you cannot remove it once you do it is very 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 strong and then we're going to just lay this right here on top and even just with laying it down i mean it does really really stick instantly so which is awesome and then we're going to just peel this up and look at that I mean, that is just incredibly sticky so Hopefully this will be awesome for us without having to like drop. I know I used to drop stamps and quite honestly, I didn't mount most of my stamps just for this reason that it was very difficult to get them to stick to blocks, but I don't have the problem anymore. So they're all in there. And the cool part is too, if you're using a stamp and say you use like a lot of stamps and you keep them on your block and then sometimes they would fall off and maybe something would slip into the trash. These are not going to fall off because they are super super sticky so really really cool very pleased with this and again so they're going to be offering cling mount and photopolymer those are going to be the only two choices except if you have a background stamp then they will offer it in wood mount as well so i hope that this is a helpful video for you guys if you have any questions feel free to let me know um you can find me at reachthestamper@gmail.com. you can leave me a message on facebook on youtube um or on instagram for that matter and as always, there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff coming out soon. So make sure you subscribe. If you are on YouTube, you want to hit that little bell and make sure you turn on the alerts because that's the only way you find out new videos. And on your Facebook setting, what you want to do is make sure you go into notifications and hit all. That way, every time something comes up, either live or a new video that it posts for you and you're able to see it. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day.